G'day, it's Max here from Go RV. Now, it's often said that to maximize your fuel efficiency when towing a caravan, then to drive slower. Say, for example, if the speed zone's 100 kilometers an hour on the freeway, well, drive at 70, 80 k's and you will get better fuel consumption. But is this true? That is what we're going to be testing today. To that end, I've hitched up a brand new Goldstream RV weighing about 2,360 kilograms. Now these are ripper vans. The guys at Goldstream just build the caravan right. We're going to tow the caravan from here in Pakenham where the Goldstreams are built all the way to Melbourne and back again. For the first run, we'll be traveling at about 100 kilometers an hour to give us a baseline. Then we'll return to the fuel station where I am right now. Then we'll refuel, reset the trip meter, and we'll conduct the same test again. But instead of traveling at 100 kilometers an hour, we'll set 80 kilometers an hour as our top speed. Then we'll refuel again at the same site and see how much diesel we have actually used and what the difference is between traveling at 100 kilometers an hour and traveling at 80 kilometers an hour as a top speed. Now my gut feeling is that there will be a slight difference in fuel consumption, but perhaps not as much as we might expect. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to hit the road. Okay, so we have traveled from Pakenham, Victoria into Melbourne, up over the Westgate Bridge, and back again. We traveled 139.8 kilometers, and we used 22.28 liters of diesel. Now this averages out to 15.91 litres of diesel per 100 kilometres. I've refuelled, I've zeroed out the odometer, it's now time to run the same course using 80 kilometres per hour as our top speed as opposed to 100 kilometres per hour. Now I found travelling at 100 kilometres an hour along the Monash Freeway with this caravan attached, honestly it tows like a dream. There was not any issues at all maintaining 100 kilometres per hour. There were some 80 kilometer per hour zones as well as some roadworks at 60 kilometers per hour, especially around the Westgate Bridge and that sort of thing. So I will try to compensate for that on the next run by knocking a little bit of extra speed off here and there where it's appropriate. I've just done another run down the Monash Freeway up over the Westgate Bridge and back again with 80 kilometers per hour as my top speed. According to the trip meter, I actually traveled 139.6 kilometers this time around. So roughly 200 meters less than my first run down the freeway, which in the context of this test, not ideal, but really statistically insignificant. But it's already clear that I've used a lot less diesel on my second run down the freeway than I did on the first. The first run I used 22.25 litres. The second time around, 15.49 litres of diesel. So that's a massive saving. In fact, that 15.49 litres of diesel averages out to 11.1 litres per 100 kilometres. Again, that is a massive saving. And I have to say that is really not the result that I expected. I thought that we might save one, maybe two litres per 100 but we're up around four or five litres per 100 kilometres saved just by knocking off a bit of speed. But there is a wider and more important point to make here. I mean, yes, as caravanners, of course, we want to save a bit of fuel where we can. It is, after all, one of our biggest expenses when we're out there on the road. But it should be a distant second or third consideration in comparison to safety. We should always be driving with safety in mind to the prevailing conditions, and of course, always in a safe and legal way. Look, I'm the first to acknowledge that a test such as this is a bit imperfect, a bit imprecise. There are plenty of variables at play that aren't within my control, such as the weather and the traffic, the prevailing environmental conditions. But the one variable that I was able to control on this test was my speed, and I think we have shown conclusively that by knocking off a bit of your speed, you will save fuel. Whether or not that's a good idea, as the driver, that is up to you. Just always make sure that you're towing your caravan in a safe, responsible, and legal way.